Welcome to Zarin Tech this video on fast data loading and bulk ingestion in Snowflake. I'll be walking you through some key concepts related to loading data efficiently into Snowflake. First, let's go over some quick disclaimers. The contents of this video including examples, images, and references are provided for informational purposes only. You are responsible for complying with any applicable copyright laws. Without limiting rights under copyright, no part of this document may be reproduced, stored, or transmitted without permission. Credits should be given for any images taken from open sources. Here's a quick agenda of what we'll cover today. First we'll look at stage concepts and types of stages in Snowflake. Next we'll see how to list stage objects before copying data. We'll then go over loading data from a stage into tables and discuss copy history. After that we'll look at file formats supported in the copy command, and how to query stage data without loading it. We'll also touch on stage file validation during copy, as well as warehouse sizing and compression for data loading. Snowflake stages are locations used to store data files before loading them into tables. Snowflake can store data locally in its cloud architecture, as well as access data stored in other cloud storage like S3, Azure Blob or Google Cloud Storage. There are three main types of stages in Snowflake. First, user stages are default stages allocated to each user for storing files. These cannot be altered or dropped. Next, table stages can be accessed by multiple users but can only load data into their associated table. Finally, internal stages store data internally within Snowflake's architecture. When copying related table spaces, specifying objects in a list ensures the complete set is copied before running QS. This avoids data inconsistencies across referentially related tables. Snowflake provides three key commands for moving data in and out of stages. Put and get transfer files into or out of a stage. Copy into loads data from staged files into an existing table, and vice versa. The files are staged either internally or in external cloud storage. Copy into moves data between stages and tables. The data files can be staged internally or in external object storage like S3 or Azure Blob. The table function copy underscore history can be used to query Snowflake's data loading history across various dimensions like start and end times. The copy command unloads table rows and sets into staged files. Snowflake supports many file formats for loading data, including CSV, JSON, Avro, ORC, Parquet, and XML. With Snowflake it's possible to directly query data files located in a stage, without having to first load them into a table. The file format options from a named file format or stage can be specified in the query. The validation underscore mode parameter in copy checks for errors in data files, returning any issues encountered. The on underscore error option specifies an action if errors are hit when loading a file. Warehouses provide the compute resources for loading data into Snowflake tables. Modern data warehouses often hold 100s of terabytes. Compression reduces the storage footprint, with Snowflake automatically compressing table data. That covers the key concepts related to fast data loading and bulk ingestion with Snowflake. Let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe our channel to get more informative videos.